right. I'm not sure if you guys remember this, but uh, back in September, I went on or I went to a lodge uh, with uh, Carl to help him videotape a show. And um, the way we had our room all set up, I had my clothes really close to the wall and there was a bed there and a pair of my favorite brand new Muskoka Bearwear gray track pants must have fallen between the bed and the wall. And when I, I usually do like a check, especially under beds, whenever I'm like in a hall, uh, hotel situation, um, and this time I didn't do that. And of course, because I didn't do that, I forgot a pair of track pants. So I emailed the owner of the lodge and said, you could please mail them back to me if you guys find them. I guess the first question was, did I leave them there? Because I can't find them anywhere. And I uh, could have been in, you know, they could have got lost in Carl's truck. I don't know. Uh, so, uh, but he, of course he didn't have them and the lodge owner John, he uh, sent me an email back saying, yep, we found them. And I said, you know, if you could throw them in the mail whenever you have a chance and uh, tell me how much it costs to mail them back, plus the pouch he probably had to buy to put them in. And uh, I haven't seen them uh, since. And uh, so I sent him an email again just saying, you know, just out of curiosity, have you sent them yet? And he said, yeah, I sent them back in September. I'm like, oh my goodness. So I must have uh, got him to send them to my P.O. box. So now we're going into Lafroy on this dreary, crappy Tuesday afternoon. And uh, we're going to go see if we can uh, rescue my my uh, my favorite track pants. So I'll have them for this week. It's the fall and it's nice to have a good pair of track pants to keep you warm. Let's go. <laughs> things eh you get here during their like lunch time or something and uh, they're closed down uh, one of the things I have to do is um, purchase another year of my PO box because you have to pay for a PO box uh, so it's not my regular mailbox it's a PO box uh, so I have to pay for that it expires September 20th <laughs> a little late and then I need to pick up something and pick up something. Uh, no, that's still, uh, they gave me two notices about paying, which is fine. Uh, and then they gave us a fall program and a correct way. They said, we noticed that some of your mail items have an incorrect or in a incomplete address. So they're making sure I know how to fill up my address the way they want me to fill up my address. All right. It always gets to me, but uh, <laughs> it's all good. All right, so they reopen at 2. It is 1.53. Uh, I'm just going to sit here, listen to the radio, check some emails, and check some email at the post office. As you can see, it's 2 o'clock. Time to go back in. Hello. How are you? All right, how are you doing? Uh, yeah, I got my pants back. All right, so I am good for another year for my PO box, which is excellent. Did I say excellent? How about excellent? That's probably better. And we are going to just check this out. 
check out my pants. You guys get to see my pants. Uh oh. Hard to open. They usually have like a tear strip. Some of these things. Maybe that's just uh Oh, so cool. Oh my goodness. I'm so glad you're back in my life. Muskoka Bearware. They're so comfy. They're my favorite track pants right now. So there's the Muskoka Bearware logo. Here's the inside. Look how fluffy and cozy they are. Oh my goodness. I'm so glad. I think I only wore them for maybe a week or two. And then I lost them, but thanks to John at the lodge for sending those back to me. I got to send him money now. It costs like 19 bucks, I think, plus the. So it was well worth it. All right, I won't do that again. Lesson learned. <laughs> Let's go home. myself a club soda and this is what I drink uh, it helps me from not drinking pop or beer or anything again because I've gained a bit of weight so I've got to lose that weight as you can see I'm packing up again for the final time uh, I'm gonna be heading up to the cottage to help my mom and my sister pack up the cottage and get it put to bed for the winter I got those to go with me perfect keep me super warm got my rain jacket because as you can see outside it is nasty weather and it probably is gonna be like that for the rest of the week maybe we don't know but uh, I'm glad I got those back cheers everybody ah last night while uh, eating dinner Carol and I watched a movie you haven't seen in a very, very long time. Uh, Scent of a Woman with Al Pacino and Chris O'Donnell. And uh, both of those actors, I think that's one of my favorite movies that they were in. They did a phenomenal job uh, halfway through the movie. I'm like, I can't believe I haven't watched this in so long because it is such a good movie. An amazing classic. If you love Al Pacino, uh, it is probably one of my favorite, uh, um, one of my favorite movies that he acted in, uh, his best performances. And uh, same with Chris O'Donnell, he did such a fantastic job. Uh, the movie from beginning to end is just well written, uh, well directed. Uh, everything about it was phenomenal. If you have the chance, check out Scent of a Woman with Al Pacino and Chris O'Donnell. All right, guys, I'm going to finish packing up, getting all my gear together, uh, packing up the car, and then uh, it's only 10 after 3, but um, having a very important phone call I have to take at 4.30, so Carol and I are going to do our dinner somewhat early, and uh, then I'm going to head up to the cottage just after dinner and uh, scout out a couple things that I want to do for you guys in the near future, next week and the week after. And uh, then I'll be putting the cottage away for, with my mom and my sister in the next couple days. All right, thanks for stopping by the vlog. I'm glad I've been reunited with my pants. I hope you guys are super happy about me being reunited with my pants. You're probably not. But it was a fun vlog to put together just for you guys. Talk to you later. Cheers.